This is hard to hear. It sounds like your girlfriend's been lying to you. Yeah, Karamo, you know, man, I go to work every day. Yeah. And um, I'm like, where are you going? Where, where are you been? How's your day going? And um, it's always a different answer. Come to find out, she's hanging out with a mutual friend. Mm. And um, our mutual buddy, his, she, he, I guess he tells her, like, you know, my wife ain't going to be uh, too happy that we're hanging out together. She's going to suspect that we're doing something we're not. And I'm like, well, how do you think that makes me feel, you know? Exactly, yeah. So how often does she get calls from mystery men? Um, it's frequent enough. There's a, a man from her past that friends with benefits type thing. And then I'm talking to your producer because my phone was dead, and here comes a call from them. The friends with benefits, you know? Hold on. So you're on the phone with my producer, and a man is calling her phone? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Because this, this is yesterday, then? Yeah, this was just yesterday. Did she tell you that they had stopped communicating? She told me they stopped communicating. She hasn't talked to him in a year, year and a half. And, and then, then the he, phone rings. And the phone rings, and it's, and it's him. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. So bring me back. How did y'all even meet? Uh, we met while I was working at a cafe about five and a half, six years ago. And um, a few days later, I woke up, and she was in my bed. Oh, wow. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's so, funny, because you're a shy man, so you're kind of blushing with it. It's all right. <laughs> We all grown here. We all grown. We know what happened. You know, and um, th we just ended up catching feelings and stuff. And then it uh, turns out she was real violent. She uh, push, oh. pushed me over with her car. And she's, she's busted irons over, over me, you know. And... Hold on. Um, OK, I got to get clarification. When you say pushed you over with the car, does that mean she hit you with her car? Or yeah. did she open a car door and then you Oh, fell? no. Oh, no, Karama. She, she, she ran me over. She ran you over. <laughs> she ran me over. And you say that she, she hit you with irons? Like, what do you mean? Like, she was... Like, like, she didn't iron her clothes. Like, she held an iron, you know? And she, and, and, and she bashed me with an iron. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. OK. So what is her explanation for doing these violent things? Just excuses, man. Like, her foot made her push me over with the car, and, and you know? So what happens when you argue? Is it always this physical stuff, or does other things happen? Uh, it's, not, it's not really too physical anymore, you know? Like, Good. I just try okay. to go on my little walks and, and escape. You know? Got it. So you're going to walk. So why do you want to unlock Tanisha's phone today? Uh, I'm just tired of hearing excuses and lies in my mind, you know, and I want to get to the bottom of it and, and just have proof, solid proof. Of course. It sounds from what you're saying, like, even being on the phone with my producer and, and a guy she said she didn't talk to, it seems like where there's smoke, there's fire. Yes, sir. Wow. Listen, everyone, I think it's time that we meet Tanisha and get her side of the story. So everyone, please welcome Tanisha to the show. Hi. Welcome, Tanisha. How are that's you? That's crazy. Hello. You said that's crazy? Yes. What's crazy about that? Tell me. Please tell me your perspective. Well, he was messing with my head, and I felt like I was being mentally abused, so I, my oh. foot pushed the gas pedal. Like, I didn't even think I was going to do it. How does your foot push me over? <laughs> So you feel like you're being mentally abused, that's why you hit him with the car? Yeah. How am I, I just barely, you? barely tapped him. You barely tapped him. Yes. So what about the irons? The iron, because he broke my laptop for school. I was trying to... So you broke an iron over me. Yeah, he stomped on my $500 laptop, and I didn't have money to buy another one. Okay. Except why did that, you break that? That was my schoolwork. I was frustrated, you know, and I, and I stomped on her laptop. Okay. You know, and... Okay. Uh, for the record, I just got to know right now, have you ever cheated on Dustin? No, Dustin is actually the one that used to leave and go stay at some other girl's house and moved in with another girl. No, that's not true. Okay. What girl did I move in with? <laughs> this lady was just, just a friend that we both knew about, and I never moved in with her. But I, I wasn't would... allowed over there. When he would come there, I had to park down the street for him to leave the house to, with me. Because like, you pushed but, me over with your car. But that's I why moved you weren't him allowed into there. my house. Okay, so let's get to the things that we do know for sure. He was on the phone with my producer, and a man was calling you. And he says that other mystery men are calling you. So can we talk about the men that are calling you? Yes, that, that number did come through on my phone. And I was, we were sitting there talking um, on speakerphone. And that number came through. And I was confused myself. When I called the number back, though, it was somebody that had, had that phone. and was wondering what, a coincidence. Who my, what, my, what number was in that phone. It was a girl. It wasn't even that guy anymore. He also says that you spend time with married men. How, do you, how often do you spend time with married men? 
um, the, that one day, well, he sent me over there to go pick up some cigarettes from the guy, and so I don't understand why I'm, what I'm supposed to do. And the guy's wife wasn't there, and you hung out with him, and he told you his wife wasn't going to feel too good about you being there. No, he didn't tell me that. So you told my producers that you feel like Dustin is making faces at you. Yes, I feel like I'll look over at him, and it's like, I'm like, I just seen that. Like, that look doesn't even look like you like me. Like, uh -huh. that look was just like a, ugh, look. Okay. Because I have like, so much built up inside, I can never get the truth out of you, but so I'm he, always... But he's done that since day one. And you two have been together for five years, right? Yeah, and he's always, and to me, it's like, that, that look is not like you like me at all. It's just kind of like you have to be around me, because you have nowhere to go. So you've had mistrust with her since day one? Yes, right. It's, it's been there. It's just her actions, you know, her actions don't prove that. Well, they're all off your actions, so that's what, all I can what, say. But I'm missing something here. There's a piece that's missing that I can't figure out. Was there addiction, like either drugs, gambling, anything in the beginning of the relationship? Yeah. It's just gambling. Okay, so, so the addiction caused mistrust on both of your parts. Correct. So now I understand where the mistrust started from and why it's still being here. And so when you're having these arguments and like with that, the car and with the laptop, what were those over? Was it over men, or was it over like some of these past issues? That's what I'm saying. I really don't know where those came you from. You tell me. I don't know why he busted my la laptop, so that's What was course. it that you were mad about in that moment, if you can remember? being pushed into a corner, you know, not allowed to leave, because I would want to leave, and then she would block the door so I couldn't go for a walk and cool off. Got it. And so I just got to the point to where I'm like, yeah. And what were you arguing about before then, do you remember? I don't remember, no. Got it, okay. So, Dustin, you wanted me to unlock Tanisha's phone, correct? You're yes. You're always in my phone. He, he has my phone. Okay, so you wanted me to unlock the phone, but I have to be clear, when we asked Tanisha to unlock her phone, you declined. Oh. Why did you decline? I just don't think anybody needs to be in my business, and he is in my phone all the time. He has my phone all the time. So but, anything but, that But I don't pry into, into your phone, though, and look for things that I shouldn't have to. But you do. Because anything, and that's that, why I know what I do know. My friends, other friends, have borrowed our phone before, and I let them use it. And he gets on their messenger and reads their messenger. Look, Karamo man, look. And I won't do it. She has this I, other guy's I, messenger on her phone, no, right? No, and this man has pictures of his penis on, uh, uh, right? And I I'm like, even, yo, why don't you take take this man's messenger off your phone? And she won't. I didn't even know that though, because I, like, I'm not nosy. I don't care about pe other people's personal business. I don't care that there's I'm penis not, pictures on my phone, so I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna take his messenger their account off. Account. Okay, hold on. So you just you just said a messenger app. Have you ever seen her on dating sites? Yeah, she has like dating on her Facebook and and stuff, you know. But she you hasn't used it for two so you three have the years. Sites active. Um, I don't even know if they're active. I'm going to tell you this right now. There is a lot of inconsistencies in there what is being is. said. And you're shaking your head, and most of the inconsistencies come from you. Yeah, that's fine. So you, you're acknowledging the inconsistencies come from you. Yeah, because I, you know what I'm saying? But he knows everything. So you're acknowledging the inconsistencies come from you that's causing the issues in this relationship? Yes. Got it. Okay, great. We're getting a ping right now. Oh. Um, Dustin, you confessed something to our producers last night that you want us to all see. Yes. It's been about two and a half, three years now where it's felt like you weren't my partner or my girlfriend. This day for me was the day for it to either be able to move forward for us or for me and you to have to go separate ways. I don't trust you anymore. In my mind, it's pretty much I'm like, it's over. Oh, oh so you're breaking up. I can't do it no more, Chromo. Oh. Okay. okay. Because I wanted to make oh. sure. I didn't think you wanted to be with me anyways anymore. Okay. So that's fine. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean, you said you felt it. You said. Yeah, I've been feeling like that too. I told the producers as well. I feel like he's only with me to use me anyways. Mm. Because I've been the one taking care of everything. He just barely got a job two weeks ago. Okay. Um, well, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, I, you know, I was giving my advice. This was what I would suggest anyway. Yeah, me too. So I wasn't aware that he was going to confess that he was unhappy and break up with you. But no, I think I, it's I, for the best for both of you. I agree. Because this is unhealthy. I mean, from day one, trust issues. From day one, addiction issues with gambling. From day one, other men being in the picture because there was not clarity on where you were and what you were doing. So from day one, there was never a foundation in this relationship. And uh -huh. you could never build on a, a house um, on an unsteady foundation. So it's just clear that this needed to end. I, mean, I agree. Yeah. That's so what I was asking for, too. I, I pray that you actually hold tight to this, and he does as well. And I wish you best of luck alone and uh -huh. apart. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. All right, everyone.
Thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. Just walked off just to show her that I'm done. Um, I always give in to her, and this was the last draw for me, and it's just time for us to go our separate ways. I'm just tired of the lies, of having to worry about where she's at, what she's doing, um, and she's being faithful. And um, I think it's just time for us to, we just have to move on. You know, she wouldn't even unlock her phone, and this is why I came all the way out here for her, uh, waiting, for, hoping for some closure, and I'm not gonna get it, and I just have to do other things in my life. I'm done. <laughs>